Libra. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time, my friends. I appreciate you. Appreciate your time. Appreciate you reaching out, hitting that old like button while you're thinking about it. Hitting that subscription button if you haven't done that yet. Thanks for thanks for your support. Appreciate it. And uh, definitely a big shout out and thank you. A moment of gratitude for all my Libras that have blessed me with donations. Many of you. Very kind of you. I appreciate it all. Large or small. Uh, Libra, if you've blessed me with a donation, thank you. And uh, all my Ramblin' Nation members, I love you guys. Thank you for your continued support month after month. Thank you so very much for it all. Um, some of the perks about being a member of Ramblin' Nation is you definitely get these videos before anybody else. Many times up to a week in advance. Always at least uh, 24 hours before I release it uh, on, on a, a free premiere. Um, and uh, another thing that I do with my members. Wow, Seven of Swords jumped out right there. Oh, sneaky. Oh, sneaky. Huh? Libra. I love you guys. Anyway, I want to talk with you about Wednesday night. My Wednesday Friends Day before I get into the cards right here. Uh, smaller, more intimate group, uh, live reading with members only, Wednesday night. The next one's going to be June 3rd, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, I like to give away a lot of stuff. I grabbed a, I grabbed a red winner, winner, chicken dinner. Going to be giving that away on Wednesday night. And I got a nice green one, uh, pastel green, ooey gooey, soft and chewy. Going to give that away on Wednesday night. Also going to give away an amazing tarot deck on Wednesday night, June 3rd. Uh, Ciro Marchetti's Tarot of Dreams. How many of you know Ciro? Gotta love him, huh? The guy changed the face of tarot. Award-winning artist. Going to be giving away his amazing deck. I've signed them all because, well, I modify these decks. This deck is considerably smaller than, it, than it's manufactured. Um, fits the hands nicer, you know. Some of the cards get too big, but I want to show you a couple cards that line up with Libra real quick. Out of this deck, there's Justice. What do we got right here? Yeah, the Queen of Swords. Uh, two of Swords. That is the Moon in Libra. Three of Swords is Saturn in Libra and four of swords is Jupiter in Libra um, also comes with an amazing book oh, gonna be giving away that on Wednesday night also gonna be giving away a uh, free tarot reading with me on full hour so if you're interested in uh, participating in uh, Wednesday Friends Day on the 3rd of June Hit that join button right there, and uh, if you can't find the join button, there's there's a link down in the description area. Uh, take you to that membership page. Looking forward to seeing you on Wednesday night. Also, I will be doing Sunday Fun Day, uh, June seventh, five p.m. Eastern time. So I'm hoping to see you at uh, either one or hopefully both of those readings uh, coming up this week. The third and the seventh. All right, and a couple members that I want to shout out that have their own uh, uh, YouTube channels. Um, Linda Linda with Love Mist. I love your channel, Linda. Uh, amazing tarot reader. Um, uh, she spells it M-Y-S-T. Another one that I want to shout out is uh, Dragon Tail Tarot. Give her, give, give her a little look. See, she's an amazing reader, astrologer, and uh, definitely uh, one of my favorite Libras that I know personally is Jen TV Tarot. Love you, Jen. Mwah. I uh, really love watching your uh, sub count continue to uh, go off the charts. I'm happy for you, Sunshine. 
So again, check them out if you'd like. These are amazing readers right here. Love Mist, M-Y-S-T with Linda Linda. Dragon Tail Tarot. Oh my God, she's amazing. And Gen TV Tarot. Check them out. I know you're going to find somebody you like on there. All right, enough, enough, Mike. Let's read some cards. I hear you. This reading will be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. A little look-see at love right here. Wow, these cards want to talk, man. There's a King of Pentacles right there. There's a King of Pentacles that jumped out. You know, that's the catch. And uh, that the other card that jumped out was Six of Cups. So it could be an old soulmate lover from another from another lifetime. Come and play one more time. But we'll see right here, huh? Because I know Libra's been letting something go. And many of us have, you know. Eclipses are happening right now. You know, a whole boatload of the planets are in retrograde. Mercury's about to go retrograde. Uh, Saturn is retrograde. Jupiter's retrograde. Pluto, it's all. You know, and eclipses. Eclipses coming in here, too, that eclipse people or things in and out of our lives very suddenly. And we get three eclipses here. Uh, we get one at the beginning of June, one at the uh, towards the end of June, and one in July. We get three this time around. Uh, I think we get six eclipses this year. Although I'm not an astrologer, I'm a tarot card reader. I like to watch them on YouTube, all my, all my astrology people. Exciting time, you know. So... Let's see what happens, huh? People can just show up out of the blue. Somebody new. It's kind of what I'm feeling for you, Libra. Somebody new, you know. Wouldn't that be nice? All right, here we go. Um, I, I asked sorts to put these out from first-person perspective. But let's fire up our intuition, our psychic abilities, all that. Let's go with this right here. I'm going to tune in. Tarot Love Team. Libra's here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity, accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak what I need. Help Libra see and hear what they need. Let's take all these amazing pictures, put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Libra's highest good. Thank you so very much for that love, team. Cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. Here we go, Libra. Cutting the deck. I'm going to give you a nice full spread, so... Hope you brought some snacks because we might be here for a while. Here we go, Libra. First card out. King of Swords showing up. Oh, uh, you know, it could very well be our Libra energy, male or female. It's definitely Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Uh, but, you know, this old king right here, he has his hands over his heart. It's protecting that old heart right now, huh, Libra? Protecting that old heart, making the old King of Swords makes head over heart decisions. Uh, I remember those cards that I pulled for Libra recently. Strong soulmate connection that many of my Libras uh, were involved in, uh, in one way or another, situationship, whatever. Uh, but uh, Libra definitely trying to let it go, and that's what this card can talk about as well. Libra protecting their heart, making head over heart decisions, strategy, you know, communication. Uh, making things very, very clear. Let's see what crosses over top of the King of Swords is the Empress. And this is definitely Libra's card, Sacred Feminine Energy. Uh, this is Taurus as well. I also have Aries connected with this myself. Um, she's all about new beginnings. I felt that when I, ooh, I'm excited. I felt that when I cut that deck right there, something new trying to come in here for Libra. Um, but, you know, you may have to be King of Swords energy right now and just literally cut something out of your life for the new beginning to come in. Because this is Venus incarnate in the sensual earth. I love the Empress card. Uh, she definitely talks about new beginnings in abundance, new beginnings in love. Wanting to come in here for my Libra. That's definitely your card, too. Let's see where this goes, Libra. Huh? Yeah, base of the spread, the old five of cups, the old river of tears for quite a while. Somebody coming in here and spilling all of Libra's cups. 
But it certainly looks to me like there's two cups behind, you know, that this character needs to turn around and pick up these two cups. Happiness, joy, bliss. Uh, two cups can talk about the true love and the tarot. Uh, turn around, pick up the bliss and go over the bridge, over troubled water, back up to the high vibration castle up there where Libra is supposed to be rocking. River of Tears at the base of the spread. I love the Empress, all about new beginnings and head over heart decisions right here. Hangman came out. Hangman, hangman. You know, Libra was definitely in hangman position for a while with all those tarot readings that I was reading for you. But hangman, he's not tormented in any way, shape, or form because he's hung by his foot. He's not hung by his neck right there. You know, and I, that's all that white light coming in, that source blasting Libra out of the hangman's tree. And that's all because, you know, hangman's definitely about a new thought process, looking at things in a new light, in a new way, you know, definitely coming out of the dark night of the soul. This is dark night of the soul. Definitely coming out of dark night of the soul, you know, getting a new perspective about you and what you want. Three of Pentacles came out on top of the spread. And it can talk about that past situation right here with the uh, spilled cups, the three spilled cups. It's three Pentacles. Three Pentacles can talk about, you know, desiring to work on a foundation with somebody that's important to you. But, you know, I, I see three people in this picture right here. You know, leaving my Libra and the hangman, getting a new perspective about why in the world would I want to uh, put my energy in something that's got way too many people involved in it. You know, and this definitely crowns the spread right here. Making that head over heart decision, coming out of the hangman's tree, leaving the old river of tears behind, which is a five, which is a card of contrast. And I know I've said it many times, but it's hard to remember when we're going through contrast, um, it's hard to remember that contrast is, is it's our friend because it shows us what we don't want so that we can distract from that. We can sever that tie. We don't put any more energy into what we don't want and set our intentions and move in the direction that we do want. The old king of swords right there, head over heart decisions, new beginnings in abundance and love coming in here for my Libra, coming out of that hangman's tree, maybe letting Three of Pentacles situation go. Here we go. Let's see what we got coming out here. Oh, look. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. An Ace of Pentacles showing up right here. A new beginning. I, I get excited when I when the cards confirm what I was talking about before I even pulled a card. It's, it's the golden coin. It's the Ace of Pentacles. It's the you know, the cornerstone of the Ten of Pentacles, that old quintessential universal dream, the little white picket fence and the big pink cows. It's something new. That's, you know, coming and it sits right there by the Empress, new beginnings in abundance and love, or oh, the King of Swords making head over heart decisions, walking away from the river of tears. Looks like there's some bliss coming in here. Looks like there's some serious bliss coming in here for you. I want your eyes wide open. Get out there and say hi to people. Smile and flirt and all of that, huh, Libra? Because I got the golden coin coming in here. And that, that's touchable, tangible. It may have taken a hell of a long time for this to show up, too. But it shows up today in your immediate future. The golden coin sitting by the Empress. Libra. Two of Cups coming out here. That's water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is a card of new beginnings with a soulmate, a twin flame, or a life partner. Bringing much healing. Oh, it's on my shirt right there. Yeah. Bringing much healing. The old Caduceus right there for my Libra. Bringing some balance. I, I, I'm liking this, man, you know. I uh, got the golden coin, got the empress, new beginnings in abundance and love. 
got Libra making a head over heart decision because they're going to use that sword, that that king's sword right there to cut themselves out of that hangman tree right there. Enough of this. Enough of Three Pinnacles. And, you know, Three Pinnacles can talk about working on a foundation of something that's important to you with somebody else. Somebody new is what I'm getting right here. It's really nice. And letting possibly a third party situation go. Uh, possibly with somebody that was definitely more than just playing with other people because the Pinnacles can talk about somebody that's actually committed to somebody else. Eight swords coming out on top of this little Libra, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that's the King of Swords right there. The Eight Swords. The Eight Swords sits on top of the King of Swords and sits on top of the Empress. You know, and this is being all mental mind fucked right now. Being all up in your head, feeling trapped. You know, that's that old processing. If you're resonating with this and you just let something or somebody go, kind of feeling stuck and trapped. And I don't know if I'm ready for something new to come in. Still trying to get discombobulated from, you know, whoever... Or whatever that was you know but she's not really trapped she could get out of that anytime she wants Libra yeah get out your head she can back up on one of those swords cut those loose binds off pull that blindfold off and get back up to that high vibration castle that's up there it's the second high vibration castle right here, you know. Don't let this person that spilled your cups, that's what I'm seeing right here. Don't let them rob you of what the universe is trying to bring in here for you. You know, many times when there's an ending, there's an ending because there's a new beginning that wants to come in here for you. That's what I'm seeing. There's a new beginning that wants to come in here. Don't, don't stay stuck in something. Get out of Hangman. Cut yourself free from Hangman. <laughs> A lot of cards coming out. Look at, see, there's the lover. It's in your hopes position. You know, I mean, if you're hoping for something new to come in, let Eight of Swords go. Cut yourself out that hangman's tree. You're not, not stuck. The only place that we're stuck is in our thought process right here, you know. And as air signs, I say us because I'm an Aquarian. We can get stuck in our head. We can get stuck in our head good. So I got no problem telling you, Libra, don't get stuck in your head no more. Hmm. Quit trying to keep everything balanced for everybody else. Let's get balanced for you. Hmm. There's the lover. That's the one that makes your heart go boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Leo. Oh, I said Leo. Ain't that interesting? Uh, Libra. There's somebody new going to be coming in here for you soon, very soon. You need to clear this energy, though. Huh? But I see you are working on it with the King of Swords. Knowing and probably feeling yourself there's a new beginning coming in here for you, you know. Uh, being very intuitive and all of that. Again, I have the Magician. This is fantastic. You know, because this is the manifester. And what's he doing? He's manifesting new beginnings all around. Has the Ace of Swords, has the Ace of Pinnacles, has the Ace of Cups, has the Ace of Wands tucked up by his heart. He knows what he's passionate about. Tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the divine with that infinity symbol above his head. As above, so below. As within, so without. The magician. It's Mercury. It could be communication with somebody new. This is um, Aries, Gemini, Virgo. May mean something to you, may not. I see new beginnings coming in here for you. You know, that's the magician. That's the number one card. Oh, and the wheel. The wheel off the bottom of the deck. This is really positive, Libra. Here's the wheel of fortune, the wheel of destiny um, coming in the near future. It's right here. It starts with that ace of coins. There's going to be an offer coming in here for you. 
Somebody wants to manifest a new beginning with you. Somebody wants to manifest three of pentacles with you, which is the, a solid foundation. Somebody, somebody's going to show up here and offer you something solid. I see that right here, right now. Um, you may know them, you may not. But you got to clear this energy up right here, whatever that's about. Just use that sword, that king's sword, and just cut yourself out of that tree right there and get back up these high vibration castles. You know, the wheel coming out in the future, that's ending karmic cycles. This is probably some kind of karmic cycle over here, you know, if somebody was spilling your cups. Mentally, emotionally, physically, or spiritually even. And the wheel's spinning in an upward direction for you. Winner, winner, chicken dinner trying to come in here. For Libra, that has all four fixed zodiacs on this. Aquarius, Scorpio, uh, Taurus, and Leo may mean something to you. But this is Jupiter, the planet of expansion and good luck. Coming in here for you. Oh. There it is. There's that knight of pinnacles. There's that golden coin I'm telling you, man. There's somebody coming in here to make you a solid offer. One step at a time. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Wow. You know, this is the only knight that ever crosses the finish line. What would the finish line be? <laughs> You know, a committed relationship, a sweet one, a good one. <laughs> huh? Huh, Libra? Yeah, looks like somebody's going to come in one step at a time. They want to cross the finish line with you. They want to cross the finish line with you. Have um, the judgment card. You know, making a judgment call. Ah, my vote is run with this, run with this, you know. Because, you know, you're making a judgment call because you're probably processing, you know. Processing. I see it right there. Eight of Swords, you know. I don't know. Yeah, go get your lover, man. And uh, get a Gabriel flying around blowing the horn. You know, it's about Phoenix from the Ashes. It's also a major arcana and definitely talks with me about realizing the fact that you are creating your own reality by what you think what you feel, and what you believe. So if you feel you're going to be trapped, you're going to stay trapped. Get yourself free, Libra. Get yourself free because I see a solid offer coming in here. Nice stuff, man. Processing all this right back on over here. You know, it's really, really nice, man. That's the Nine of Pentacles I'm looking at on the bottom of the deck. So, you know, that that is the Minor Arcana Empress. It's somebody that got, they got it going on, huh, Libra? It's somebody that's single because they choose to be single because they're waiting for the right one. Although this isn't really waiting. This is making things happen. All those coinage, that beautiful house, the beautiful garden, the beautiful Silgia. There's somebody that got it going on. They're not, they're not sitting around knitting a sweater on the couch that they're never going to wear while they're waiting. They're out doing their life. You know, this is somebody highly desirable, very high vibration, flying extremely high. Oh, they got back up into that high flying castle right there. That's who this is, Libra. You know, it's very, very nice, man. This, this is soon to come here. Uh, quite possibly has an opportunity. Somebody just come in and out of the blue. If, if you don't know who this is, they could very possibly just come in and out of the blue. And that's how those soulmates come in, don't they? Yeah, it's very nice. And then I got eight of pentacles and the star, eight wands. It's really nice. Oh my God, you pulled the star and eight wands coming deeper down in that deck right there. Very nice. Let's 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 play with the witch's tarot right here and get a little more on. On, on the spread that's on this board for Libra. What'd you say, love team? Thank you. Why is the King of Swords and the Empress in the heartbeat of this Celtic cross for Libra? Because look, there's Ten of Cups 
Once upon a time, there was Libra, and they lived happily ever after. You know, and it sits right here on top of my king who made a heart over, let me get my words right, they made a head over heart decision. And they are desiring new beginnings in abundance and love. And then the Ten of Cups sits on it. Once upon a time there was Libra and they lived happily ever after. I see a couple right there. I see babies running in the yard. Bliss running in the yard. A rainbow you know, with ten cups all up on it. Everybody got their hands up. Celebrating life. This is nice. This is very nice, Libra. Hope you want to love her because one's coming in. Here we go. Five of Cups. Why is Five of Cups at the base of this spread? Because there's some change coming for a Libra. What do we got right here? Yeah, there's change coming. Eight wands. Cupid's arrows of love flying through the air right here. It's fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Eights are about new beginnings coming in here for you. This is some solid communication coming in from the old magician right up there. Hangman. Hangman. Why is Hangman here? Why is Hangman? Why are they there? <laughs> well, here's my Libra card. My Queen of Swords. Um... She's definitely going to cut herself down on that tree with that sword right there. You know, the Queen of Swords, she always wants the truth and she wants clarity. Wouldn't it be nice to have a relationship with somebody that told the truth? <laughs> That's kind of what I'm feeling right here with the Queen of Swords sitting on top of Hangman, you know. Uh, you know. She may seem cold and detached on the outside, huh, Libra? But inside, she's ooey-gooey, soft and chewy, full of agape love. Yeah. I see you using that sword, you know, probably because you didn't get clarity and truth and all of that. She can be rather cold and, and detached. There's no doubt about it. Three of Pentacles, why is it on the spread for Libra? Yep. Five of Wands came out. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And again, this talks about fighting and arguing with somebody and the potential for competition in the love arena. It sits right there on top of the three pinnacles, which I felt, you know, that's serious as competition. You know, it's Libra wanting to work on a foundation with somebody, but somebody else, you know, may have had a committed relationship with somebody. And Libra just got done with it, leaving old Libra in the hangman tree right here, you know. And now Queen of Swords is just like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. I got to go get my Ten of Cups. I feel Source, you know, calling me in a new direction. Bam, right there, Ace of Pentacles coming in. In the immediate future, why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Thank you, love team. Oh, because it's the world card. A completion of an old cycle. Huge. It's the world. But a new cycle beginning. I see it right here. Ten of Cups. Get ready, Libra. Things are going to change for the better. The old world card came out second time oh that's the wheel right there the wheel and the world card are here aquarius scorpio taurus leo it is a major arcana you do not get the world card unless you've been through all 21 steps of the major arcana it means you passed a whole lot of life lessons libra all the wisdom that came into your life huh a new world there's a new world coming in here for you I'm happy to be the one that gets to tell you about it. Out with the old, in with the new. Whole new world coming in here. Two of Cups. 
You may already know who this person is right there where they did in that position. You may not. You know, definitely processing all of this stuff, cutting yourself down out of a hangman's tree, that's for sure. Yeah. Two of Cups, why is it here? I got a face card, Libra. I got the Queen of Love, man. Let's just hit it out of the park. Male or female. Uh, it's an amazing individual writer. This is my empath. I continue to pull this Queen of Cups up for Libra. Many, many readings. Um, always talking about him in the near future. Well, I think we're definitely in the near future right now. You may already know this person. But this is an empath, the one with psychic abilities, the dreamer. This is a healer. This is huge, unconditional love. It is the queen of love. For me, it is the highest love card in the tarot deck, and it's sitting on top of two of cups, the new beginnings with a soulmate, twin flame, life partner. Oh, and I got a little thunder on that right there. I don't know if you heard it, but that's nice. When source gets involved, and it goes, that's right, Libra. That's right, a new beginning coming in here for you. Eight of swords. Eight of swords. Why is Eight of Swords here? Thank you. Well, it was the old Crossroads card right there, you know. And, and Two of Wands is about setting your intentions on a new destination, a new world. We got the world right there, you know. But that little wall right there, it's kind of about pressing through, you know. Releasing stuff, letting stuff go. And pressing through or even going over that little wall right there to get to your new destination. It's also a crossroads card and wondering if you want to go over that wall. You know, it's on top of Eight of Swords right there. It makes a whole lot of sense to me, feeling trapped in the situation where you're at, wherever you're with, seeing a new destination. I mean, you may already know this person with what I see right here, this new one. Well, they're gonna give you an offer if you got a friend you're just chatting with right now and you're having some problems over here, oh, this new person is going to come in. <laughs> it's going to get excited. And they're going to give you a solid golden coin offer. That's nice, Libra. That's nice. Huh? May the best one win. Yeah. Yeah, this one over here that left you in the hangman's tree, it's got five of wands and three pentacles and leaves you at the river of tears. That's not the best one. Yeah. Yeah, just saying. <laughs> all right here we go man the knight of cups right there the lover why is the lover on the spread oh because we got victory after the battle six of wands victory after the battle because of confidence in yourself see going through that wall ain't going over it going through it Going through that wall right there, two of wands. Yeah, six of wands. That's harmony. It's bliss. It's victory. It's contentment. It's winning the battle. Because you know you're amazing. It's about self-worth. Many times these kind of soulmate relationships back over here, that's what they're all about is to show us our self-worth and help us to realize how amazing that we are and that we don't have to put up with that kind of bullshit. But love, love should be easy. Money should be easy. Life should be easy. But definitely love should be easy. That's the only kind of love that uh, Libra may be interested in playing with anymore. Very nice. Six of Wands, victory after the battle because of confidence in yourself right on top of the lover, the one to make your heart go boom, da -de boom, da -de boom, boom, boom. Ooh. The magician, somebody wants to manifest something new. Somebody wants some new beginnings. Somebody wants to talk. It's Mercury. Why is the magician here? Libra. It's the star card. Aquarius. May mean something to you, may not. <laughs> it's definitely about great hope, great faith, the potential of your dreams to become reality. Wow. 
Somebody wants to manifest a whole new beginning with you. Whew. The moon card. Top of the bottom of the deck. You know, that's about following somebody or something that's intriguing to you down that old smoky trail. Hmm? Moon card also talks about the cycles of the moon. I know we got an eclipse early this month. It's on the 5th or 7th. I don't know. It's the beginning of this month. There's an eclipse in Sagittarius. Moon card right there. Somebody wants to go down an old smoky trail. They feel it can lead them to Ten of Pentacles with you, Libra. Yeah quintessential universal dream see it's the cornerstone it's the cornerstone they're going to offer it to you you know you're not sure if you're going to accept you're not sure if you're going to accept but they're going to offer it to you and it's a new cycle coming in here for you now with that star card right there that crowns the spread on the magician this could be 20 twin right here we all know that, right? But for the most part, what I'm seeing right here is that Libra lets something go. And there's somebody brand new, man. Maybe, maybe a twin coming in here for you. This is nice. It's very nice. It's a twin card for me. Twins that were in separation. One, one pitcher's pouring in the water. One's pouring on the land. This is somebody uh, that finds you intriguing. They want to go down that path with you uh, because they feel that you're Ten of Pentacles, the quintessential universal dream, the little white picket fence and the big pink house. They, they, yeah, they're, both of you want to manifest new beginnings. Two magicians came out, and there's Libra with justice. Now, if justice shows up, that means there was some injustice in your love life. This, this, this is turning right here, Libra, whichever way this is going for you. I feel for many of you that somebody new, 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 new. Um, but, you know, these cards, too, they can be new, new, new in this incarnation, but could have that connection with the past life as well. You know, the kind of people that you just, they just show up out of the blue and be like, I feel like I've known you forever. Me too. Yeah, you probably have. Justice. Hurrah. Coming in here for Libra. And Seven of Pentacles. Divine timing. Divine timing is at hand. This is absolutely gorgeous, man. I'm happy for you. Let's play with some uh, Mystic Moon Oracle. Because this is about out with the old and in with the new. I may just call it that old... Cliche title right there, but that's what this is. That's what, exactly what this is. It's out with an old energy and in with a new energy right here. Uh, I definitely want to play with uh, the Mystic Moon. Hey, love team, let's throw a couple cards on here for Libra that line up with the spread. Thank you. Commitment. Look at this, man. Something. So I'm telling you, something solid's coming in here for you. Whatever that old static was in the past, man, that that that, that day is done. And it can talk about some kind of twenty twin with the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords because that's the Ice King and the Ice Queen, and they just need to put a little fire under them. But again, for the most part, uh, this is Libra meeting somebody new. You might be meeting some kind of divine uh, right here, right now. Definitely, uh, old cycle has ended. You know, whatever that was. Oh, I know what it was. It was River of Tears. It was Three of Pentacles. It was Hangman. That's done. Yeah. Commitments coming in. That's the new cycle, Libra. No Hangman. Commitment. That's the power of the world card right there. Look, because you fly high. Look at you. It says vibration right there. Look at it just flying high. You know, getting up in that getting up in that castle where you're supposed to be. And staying there. You know. That's the high tower right there. 
One more, man. Yeah. It's beautiful stuff. One more for Libra. A barrier came out. And uh, obviously there was some kind of barrier right here. The O2 of Wands and everything I've seen that must be broken through. And uh, well, we did get the paintbrush right there, didn't we? The Muse card, which is about... You know, because there's some see, there's a there's a Libra here that needs to let some something go, huh? So that this can come in, and this is about you know painting the pictures, seeing things the way that you want them to be. It's very clear to me. <sighs> Acting like you already got what you want. Seeing, you know, seeing things. I mean, one of my favorite mantras is, I've said it for years. It's quite simple. Things always work out good for me. And they do. Because I believe that. So that becomes part of my reality. Is it that simple, Mike? I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been using that mantra for 30 years. Because... <laughs> It wasn't good. It wasn't good when I started using that little mantra that somebody told me. Start believing different, Mike. Oh. Believe you can have what you want. Oh. Okay. That's what I see Libra doing right here. Believing, man. Receiving what they want. This is absolutely gorgeous. All right. Love card on this for Libra, please. Thank you. Here we go. Chemistry. Look at that strong magnetic attraction right here. And by the way, those two have the star card. This is something divine coming in here for you, Libra. As you see, they have the star right there in their hands. It's nice, man. Chemistry is strong magnetic attraction, romantic feelings. Yes, these feelings are real and worth exploring. Healing family issues, which has to do with forgiveness and deception. Definitely have been through all of that. Letting that go. And then I got, this could be the one. Uh, you've already met the romantic partner that you seek. And I do got to release your ex right here as well. Pretty clear for me. And after that, I got it to say for you to love. Pretty clear for me what's going on here, man. Winner, winner, chicken dinner coming in here for Libra. That's what that's what's coming in right here. But you know, there's there's some there's some things that need to be cleared up, and you're doing it. From what I can see, you're the magician. You're the magician. So manifest, my friend. It's beautiful. Major Arcana death card came out, Libra. Imagine that. Scorpio energy talks about death, birth resurrection major transformation for you and libra your card right here the empress all about new beginnings in abundance and love and the fool card a fresh start a new beginning a leap of faith libra i love this man i could talk to you all night i just feel i feel an amazing energy with you right now i'm really happy for you really happy for you. I hope you got something out of this. I know I did. I love you, Libra. Namaste. Love and light. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.